Now here at Galpin Ford in Van Nuys, California, this is the biggest Ford dealer in the world. And besides being a Ford dealer, they have a whole separate museum area full of aspirational cars. But this is not one of them. At first glance, this car looks terrible. But as you get closer, you realize it's really awful. This modified vehicle is actually a Pontiac Fiero mimicking a Ferrari Enzo. I hate even saying it. Named after Enzo Ferrari, the Enzo is one of the rarest cars out there with only 399 built and sold. With its Formula One technology and carbon fiber body, it just blows my mind that anybody could mistake. No, first of all, no one will, all right? Just stop it, stop it right now. This is owned by a man named Michael Coyne. You know, I don't usually comment on how another man dresses, but when I saw this guy's outfit, I said, man, that's a look. Michael, how are you? Hey, Jay, good, how all you right, doing, man? Now, I know this is supposed to be a Ferrari Enzo. I don't know how drunk you'd have to be to think it is an Enzo. <laughs> did you think it was an Enzo when you bought it? I did not. This was just an unloved car that had been sitting in a field for a decade and ended up on eBay, and we had to have it. Did the guy make the pieces himself to try and make it look like? So we actually don't know the origin of this car. Uh -huh. It looks like it may have been a kit. But this car actually became somewhat of a celebrity in its own right, didn't it? Tell us the story, what happened? Every year there's a big car show in Monterey called The Quail. And it's an invitation only show, it's right? It's a very exclusive show, yeah. And so we had kind of a dream of getting this car into it as a joke, right. because it is trying to imitate a car that belongs in The Quail. Sure, so I'm thinking they just saw a Ferrari Enzo. But right. Sure, that one, you know. I assume what happened is a series of mistakes where they did not look at the photo. They saw the title right. and they passed this off. This is the... why I'm afraid of a nuclear accident, <laughs> because it's these kind of mistakes. But when we got there, they were gracious enough to accommodate the reality of this car. They saw the humor in the situation. They saw the humor. So did they it. let you park next to all the other Ferraris? They did not let us park next to the Ferraris, but they did clear a special spot for us next to the porta potties at oh, the next show. To the <laughs> yeah. I, I think that's I think that's that's very good. Let's take it out for a spin and see how it goes. Let's do it. got some grunt. It's not terrible. It's not bad. It's That's not good. <laughs> Fiero wasn't a bad car. No. You know, if you like driving this thing, Jay, I could sell it to you. Oh, yeah? What do you think it'd take to get you in this thing? Uh, mental illness. <laughs> I mean, I just love this story because the quail is so much about over effort. Right. It's so nice to see lack of effort. Yeah, just yeah. To, so you, you have something to judge the other <laughs> the full spectrum. By. Well, Michael, this is a dream come true. It's not often you get a chance to drive a one-off automobile. Yeah. And if any automobile should be offed, it's this one. <laughs> so thank you, my friend. Yeah, I'm glad. Right, I'm glad thanks. you enjoyed it. <laughs>